Hey everybody, here we are again, Beer Weaving Fish. Hey guys. How's everybody been? It's been a while since we made one. It has been. A little too long. So today, we're gonna jump in and talk about the Neo Lampralogus Similis. You know, I'm still pretty surprised anybody would be watching this right now. It's been so long. You're not that funny. I'm hilarious. And we're gonna have a great time talking about the Similis. So get ready, grab your cold one, and we'll be right back. It's empty. Episode nine. Nine. So everybody, here we are, episode nine. It's time to get going. You ready? I'm ready. What's our tradition? The pork. The pour. The perfect pour. And today, the perfect pour is going to be done with the dogfish head sea quench ale. It is 4.9% alcohol. So it's a little low for me, but I think we can handle it. I do like the picture. There's like a lime, some waves, and it looks to be like the top of a boat. Whoop. And a rope, a broken rope. Hope you guys have yours ready to go. My pour will be better than yours. Mine's always better. Here we go. Pour, 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 pour. This was a really light colored beer. I don't know about this. I'm used to the IPAs. I don't either. IPAs. It's not an IPA. Perfect pour. My pour sucks. Perfect head. I'm Let's not even going to show mine. I'm embarrassed. I'll it's show so it. embarrassing. What do you think? I went so fast. I don't like pouring can beer. Cheers. Cheers. Look how quick the head goes away in this canned beer. Woo! This is citrusy. I can taste the hops, but there is some lime in there. And I believe somewhere. Oh. Look, the head's already gone. I know. I don't think this is a real beer. It's more like it's a not cider. Like it's not like a beer I get you in your boxes. No. So this one is blissfully brewed with lime juice, lime peel, black limes, and sea salt. You can taste the lime. You can't taste the lime. It's not one of my favorites, but the can's awesome. And you guys that like the more sour beers, you'll love this. So one more sip time. And Let's get started. It doesn't taste much like a beer. It just, it's, the lime is just, whoo. It is, there's a lot of lime. Well, it's the lime, lime, lime. I mean, there is a big lime on the side of the can. Anyways, let's get going. The Neo Lampralogus Similis. What do you think of them? Well, they're one of my favorites next to the Maltese. So, I think that, but, they also, oh, they're so little. They're small. They're very small. Like the Maltese. So. But I don't think they're the smallest. They're the like second smallest of the shell dwellers. I'm not a scientist. I don't know for sure, but they got to be right up there with the smallest because they are tiny, tiny fish. And I didn't even think they were big enough to breed right now, but we've gotten what, two? Two, two or three spawns out of them. Yeah. And these are probably one of our most recent shell dwellers that we've gotten. We were a little late on the Similis. A lot of people like to start with the Similis and the Maltese, but we were just a little bit late. So. Well, and they arrived small when we got them. They were yeah, a little bit smaller. They were a little bit smaller, but they, they paired off. They look good. Um, as adults, they get to be I believe it's about 1.8 inches for the males and 1.4 for the females. So, and... I don't know, I'd have to check your notes. <laughs> in centimeters, it's like 4.5 centimeters for the male and 3.5 for the female. Because I know I have some awesome Australian guys that watch our videos. Oh, and, and UK guys. Oh. And girls. But... They're cool too, 
they're well different from the Maltese because the Maltese stripes they only go like to the back of their necks where the simulus they go all the way down their body. Good job. Yes. That's a fun fact. Fun facts. What else do they do? They make little pits that are about six inches wide. Like the Maltese. Yeah. And they have their little shells in there. Oh, by the way, if you can see behind us, look at the pits these guys have made. Those are, are telemachromis, temporalis. Normally their sand is only, I mean, if you had it flat bottom sand, it'd be to here. And they have it so dug out, it's like a humongous pit. And that's why we love our shell dwellers. That is why we love them. They're fine. So anyways, back to the pits. Like the Maltese, there could be one male and multiple females, and they'll dig out this pit and have it all lined with shells, and then the females will lay the eggs and take care of the babies, and then as a colony... Yes, this is the nice thing about them. We don't have to separate the babies. It is such a pain to separate parents from babies, parents from babies, parents from babies. You don't have to do that. They all take care of each other. Yeah, so you could have three, four, five pits in one tank. If it's you, big enough. If it's big enough. And you do not have to worry about the babies because everybody takes care of everybody's babies. Instead of killing one another. Like the Ocelotus. So, <laughs> the reason we're doing this video is because we just got a fresh dose of of similar babies. Dose? Is it a dose? I call it a dose. What do you call it? Spawn? Spawn or babies or I mean it could be anything. It's not really a dose. Whatever. Like a dose is medicine. Dose. No, it's like, like a dose of Tylenol. It's like the female similis is dosing out some more babies out there. She's having a little dose. Yeah, if you call that a dose when they breed give us a dislike because I'm pretty sure no, nobody calls no. it a dose. Just tell us in the comments. Don't leave the dislike. <laughs> really? We don't need dislikes and thumbs down Nobody on calls it a dose. Okay, but say it in the comments. Well, we want to get a dislike that way. Okay, no. say it in the comments. Yes, but <laughs> always give the thumbs up and make sure you subscribe because we're hilarious. And we want more people to see us. You're well, not funny. I'm hilarious. So anyways. I'm pretty much sure that all your fish guys like me. Oh yeah. Which brings me to our my next point. So the similis. Are there. We, did we hit all your points on the billboard? I believe so. He's been making lists. Of I've been making little lists. Uh their community, like the Maltese. Uh we did that. We did that. One male, multiple females. 1.8 inches or 4.5 centimeters for the male. Oh, so now we know for sure. 1.4 inches. What do we like to feed ours? We didn't get to that part. Mm -hmm. So, when they're babies. Hey, it's a good thing we got the bullet points. <laughs> I get made fun of all the time. And she thinks she's funny for it. So, when they're babies, it's good to give them fresh live baby brine. And then we have a new product that we're gonna do a whole review video on within the next week, and it's called Aquavore, and it's sold by Sand City Cichlids, and they do a specially made fry food for the babies, which is awesome. It's super tiny. It's super easy. Yeah, it's like a pellet almost. Uh, we don't have it with us right now. No, well. Oh, uh, do you? Yeah. No, that's not it. Yeah, it is. That's it. Aquaboard. Oh. This is it. Comes in a little squeaker bottle, but we're doing a whole video for that, so we're going to save it. Anyways, you want to feed them a few times a day, too, because that's helping them grow a lot faster. So, similis. We got the similis all done? They're just so precious. They are precious. Precious little bit. And they're really, really pretty, and as you can see, in our video of them, they're just beautiful. They're awesome to watch. So, speaking of watching, Chelsea and I have- Same time. Oh. Cheers. 
Chelsea and I, some know us as the big weave and the little weave, but I'm Mark and this is Chelsea. And we started experimenting with live streaming. And that's so much fun, isn't it? Yeah, it is. The last couple weekends we- Shots out to Kevin. Shots out to Kevin at Kevin's Canines. He kind of let us on his stream and then we did a few of our own. I think he might have fell asleep on me a couple times, but. I think he did fall asleep. <laughs> but you had fun with Jen and Dee Dee and Larry and all these guys. Yes, definitely did. Tons of fun. So, we really want to start doing the live streaming and we did a couple on our own and tons of fun. The problem is, is the quality is not good. Yeah, we need to figure that out. So, we're upgrading all of our equipment. And then I want to know from you guys if you think we should really hit on a Friday night late or a later Saturday night or, or what do you think about us live streaming together because eventually Beer Weaving Fish, sip time, is going to be a weekly live stream. So that way we can all just get along and talk and weekly bi-weekly weekly bi-weekly bi either a friday night and we're saying after 11 or saturday night just let us know what you think and we'll talk fish and talk about whatever get to know everybody sounds good to me great community so anyways that is our episode nine of beer weaving fish what do you think honey I'd say, um, let's see who can chug this beer faster, but I know you'd win. Oh, I can do it. You guys want to see the magic trick? There's a few of you that have seen it. Can I, please? Just one time. You don't have full beer. It's full enough. Alright. No! Nah! Don't touch <laughs> my beer. Cheers! Beer Weave and Fish, episode 9. Peace, guys. Peace. Like and subscribe.